The Gadsden Independent School District has faced challenges attempting to find armed security for their campuses. To help ease parents' concerns, the district has implemented a Parents on Patrol program where parents like Draven Crote can volunteer to guard the schools their kids go to. I went to a board meeting and uh, the superintendent had mentioned something about POPs. I wasn't quite sure what he was talking about. And he said it's parents on patrol. They could volunteer at, at the school where, they're, where, they're, uh, where their kids go. So immediately the next day I, I, I filed for the paperwork. After passing a background check as well as a training course, Draven started volunteering. He and other POPs parents from around the district make sure doors and windows are locked and are an extra set of eyes on the lookout for any safety concerns. I'm, I'm hoping that this would discourage anybody that would, would try, to, try to do some kind of harm and hopefully they see me and, and my best and, and they see somebody um, walking around. I hope that, that discourages them from wanting to do anything here and or any other school. As with anybody or in any public institution, any school. We just want to make sure kids are safe. Gadsden ISD Superintendent Travis Dempsey has been working with parents to try to keep schools safe. With Gadsden taking up an area of over 1,400 square miles, they face uncommon challenges. Our, we have schools at Yucca Heights out in Chaparral that could take 30 to 40 minutes of response time if there was an emergency. Um, and, and, and so that really, I think, makes us unique in, in some of our needs. And, and with that, uh, you know, I think we need to increase our ability to respond if there's a serious situation. To help address these concerns, Dempsey requested armed school resource officers from the Doniana County Sheriff. This plan has been met with some pushback from some of the members of the county commission, as well as the sheriff, but Dempsey says he is all for the idea. Our commitment to it is pretty significant. Uh, when, when I initially sat down with them, the, the price tag on this was about a $3 million project to do all SROs, and I know that's a multi-year uh, process. Um, our budget will be approved in the next couple weeks, and you'll see $3 million set aside in order to accomplish this. I think having uh, school resource officers is a good idea. Having police then and sheriff's officers in with guns is not a good idea. County Commissioner Shannon Reynolds is against police in schools for a variety of reasons. He says that the increased cost of insurance, along with the way that officers are trained, leads to an undesirable outcome. When you think about training officers, police officers, there's a de-escalation de process that's taught to them that allows them and teaches them how to engage with um, serious criminals. So they are, they are basically prepared to take anybody down on a moment's notice, and that's really not necessary for juveniles. Reynolds says that retraining officers for a school environment takes about six to eight months and even then safety is not guaranteed. There are several examples, Uvalde being one of them, where 19 police officers with weapons did not make a difference. As a matter of fact, they were there, they didn't act. However, not every commissioner agrees with Reynolds. The county commission is looking to give the sheriff's office money for eight SROs that were not requested by the sheriff. Ultimately, Sheriff Kim Stewart has final say on whether her deputies will go. It's going to the board as eight school resource officers. I didn't put that in. So now I'm told that's called a management suggestion. Sir, we have never had management suggestions that I'm aware of. Certainly not to Dasso, and certainly not in the previous four years. So I'm not sure if this were voted on and accepted by the county, I'm not entirely sure what law enforcement agency our county manager would be dealing with, because he won't be dealing with me. While Sheriff Stewart does not have an issue with extra security or parents volunteering to be at schools, she says that law enforcement often gets misused on campuses. Deputies often get roped into disciplinary uh, problems at the school. I'm sorry, everywhere I've ever worked, that's where it's always, there's always one school and one principal who has decided to use their SRO as a hammer. Okay, we're not hammers. Yes. Vice Chair Shaljil Hernandez. During a commissioner yes. meeting that discussed the new budget, a vote to remove the SROs from the county budget was successful, meaning that it appears that Gadsden ISD has more work ahead to get armed security. For KRWG Public Media, this is Noah Race.